Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online where we just blew up a uh, entire chunk of ice and snow with Elizabeth Sunbeam who is beginning to show a different side to her personality than we have ever seen before and it's slightly more explosive than expected but very exciting. So let's carry on into the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur and just a quick reminder we are a little bit out of the flow of time with one another so it may be a little bit before you see some star stable updates appearing but that's because i've waited two years to explore this land and with rumors of its update any minute now i want to spend all the time with the hidden valley that is before i get to know the hidden valley that it's going to change to become so let's carry on <laughs> fantastic just to get things started with a little explosion hope the noise didn't start any avalanches elizabeth you need to put on a coat and you also need to take care of yourself i am i am beginning to think that you are much more of a adventurous sort than i gave you credit for and you are a little bit haphazard ma'am anyway now that the road ahead is wide open for you carry on and find out where it leads go freely to explore the whole valley of the hidden dinosaur I'm going to head back to Valdel, right before the avalanche, I see, and take a look through the treasures you've gathered for us. Good luck now. You'll surely find a reason to come visit me again soon. Then you can tell me all about your adventures in the valley. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, well, Elizabeth is headed back, but she has left me with this lovely winter trench coat, which actually happens to have a ton of writing, jumping, and command. But I have to say, I've grown attached to my adorable little Santa suit, so we're going to carry on. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. That's cool. We'll talk to you about the cure for Felicity later, Elizabeth. But all right, guys. So we're free now that Elizabeth has helped us to open the path and we have gathered the call, the call stones and the ice and thistles for her. It looks like Daygaze and I can carry on into the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur and we can see what it has to offer. So let's get going. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. In fact, hang on. I'm going to go a little bit slower for just a second. Just look at all of this. Wow. The snowy skies. All of the trees that don't even have any needles on them. Whoa. The icicles everywhere. The sudden pillars of ice and snow that just arch out of nowhere. This is really, really, really beautiful. I know I keep saying that and I know I keep stopping to take pictures but this is just stunning I can't get enough of this this is really really gorgeous all right let's carry on and see what we happen to find so it looks like there's another one of those ice pillars up this direction in fact oh, wow look at this one oh wow day gaze can you believe that look at this this is so beautiful it's just a giant pillar of ice and it's got this lake around it. I mean, I'm not one to just go and jump on a, you know, ice covered lake, but this is stunning. Oh my goodness. All right, let's carry on. I feel like I should see owls swooping overhead any minute now. Is there something? It looks like there used to be something like a sign on that tree trunk back there. And is this just leading me straight to a big pile? Oh wait, no. It looks like there's a very old path. Wow, it's super overgrown. What if nobody... Oh, look at the snow! What if nobody even lives here anymore? And it's just empty. I don't think that'd be the case, but maybe some other explorers... The hot air balloon! Maybe the guy with the hot air balloon came by. And maybe he's here waiting for us. I love how this is called Explorer's Road, too. All right, we'll wiggle this way. Oh, look, there is somebody here. It's, yeah, oh my gosh. It actually is the guy with the hot air balloon. I cannot believe that I guessed that. Um, does he have a magic fridge with him? What is happening? He's got a fridge with him that is literally attached by a chain and floating. What even is this? This is this is kind of amazing. Nick, what are you doing with a floating fridge? Please explain yourself, sir. Because right now, I'm just feeling all manner of confused. Also, I love how you literally just wear the same parka over and over and over again. Hello there. Hey there. It's m me, Nick. Oh my word, a real life person. It can't be true. You're real. You're really real. 
I haven't seen a living soul in ages. Finally, someone to talk to. And it's not just some random either. Oh, it's you who helped me to get my balloon from the far Everwind Fields, wasn't it? Oh no, Nick! And we get we get reputation with the Stone Ground Expedition the AAE, the Archaeology Association. I am on this. Yes, we are now going to become archaeologists. From magic mages to archaeologists, and from being an engineer, I am a woman of many talents and more hats than I can sort in my stable. Carrying on, Nick. Saga, of course that's your name. And who's this handsome fella here? Daygaze, you say? Okay. Can't say I really recognized your horse right away. No point there, Nick. I mean, he is new. The most important thing is that you are here. Why am I stuttering? It's freezing. I have a coat. I have a coat you can use. Here, put on my winter trench coat, please. Uh, and we have started to build up reputation with Nick as well, which seems to be separate from building reputation with the AAE. The AAE is the Astronomical and Archaeological Society. So we found Nick and they seem happy about that. Um, the Stone Ground Expedition is a faction that affects our relationship with Nick and his future successes. That's interesting! My main goal with the Balloon Expedition was to be able to find a secret place I've been looking for my whole life, and I started to get indications that that place in, in question was in or around the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. The balloon journey unfortunately ended in chaos. I flew straight over the north of the mountain with the plan to get into the valley from the southwest, but the winds took me straight off course and this thick white mist made it impossible to see anything. In any case, I thought that through the gaps in the clouds I could see a glimpse of warm and magical place on the ground. I felt the warmth in my heart and tried to steer the balloon towards it, but the combination of my sudden change in steering and the cold, hard winds meant that I soon lost control and went heading straight back down to Earth. In a panic, I jettisoned my sandbags and dumped all my equipment over the side of the balloon, but it was no use. The balloon smashed right down into the snow, and suddenly everything was white. Probably because it was the snow, Nick. Brr. Oh, Nick! When I came around, I realized I was totally alone and abandoned in a totally unknown spot here in the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. Lost. I haven't been able to leave the crash site because it's simply too dangerous to go out exploring on foot without any equipment. Um, what about the floating magic fridge that you have there, sir? You can't even imagine how tired, hungry, cold, and exhausted I am. Floating magic fridge? Uh... Try and get the balloon to stop losing height and float again. To try to get the balloon to stop losing height and float again, I had to throw away he loads of heavy equipment overboard. It's probably lying around here somewhere, possibly covered in snow that never stops falling here. Can you and your lovely strong horse please help me find my lost equipment? If you could have a look around and bring it back to me, that would be amazing. I'm far too exhausted to be able to carry anything, and my limbs are so stiff and frozen, I can barely move. Of course we can. That's actually perfect for day gaze. <laughs> because he is the horse made for finding lost things in snow and helping people who are lost in the snow when they are in trouble. So this is perfect for him. I also ditched a whole bunch of sandbags that I had as a ballast when I was trying to get the balloon to float again. Could you look for them as well after you found my equipment? Thanks, Saga. Purr. Oh my gosh, this is perfect for you, Daggies! Come, my boy, we will show everybody how good you are at finding lost things in the snow. And don't mind the magic horse over there. I'm sure that's totally normal for this area. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of lost sandbags, actually. Okay, well, thankfully, we'll collect these up quickly. I, I don't remember a magic... Really not remembering a uh, magical, uh, magical, uh, you know, fridge... That's, uh, I'm, I'm getting flashbacks to my little toaster, watching that as a child right now, uh, to be completely honest. And actually that movie terrified the ever-living self out of me. So I don't know how I feel about that, but let's gather all of Nick's materials and see if we can get him back up in the air. And we might even do a little bit of exploring pretty soon because this is just so beautiful. And the way that you just can't really see what's going on and each tree they start to kind of look the same but i don't know i always feel like there's something so mysterious about snow and a forest in snow like it's hiding lots and lots of things behind the snow under it there we go 
And we'll gather these pieces. So we gathered the lost equipment. And then how many sandbags do we have? Just one more, and then we'll be good to go. All right, that wasn't so hard. There we go. Let's see if this will help Nick get back up in the air. With his floating fridge. All right. Would you look at that? My wonderful old adventure kit. Back where it belongs. Thanks. Um, why is your fridge glowing even brighter now? I'm really concerned. Amongst all my adventure kit, uh, amongst all my adventure kit that you found, there should be a tent that I had with me that on loads of different expeditions and adventures. Would you please put it up so that I've got a safe place to sleep and take shelter? I've been sleeping here amongst these fir branches until now, and believe me, it's really very cold. Nick, you're gonna die if you keep this up. I'm far too frozen to be able to put the tent up myself. Could you help me? It's a pretty complicated tent, but I think you can manage. No problem, Nick. Hang on. All right, so we're going to go ahead and set this up for him really quickly. This really is a rescue mission in the snow. This is perfect for day gaze. All right, there we go. If I re jerry rig together that, like, elevator, this tent is no problem. There, you see? The tent is up. Now I can get a decent night's rest. It's so cold and gray and dark here. Can you help me build a little lantern out of snow so that I can shield this candle I have from the wind? That way it won't blow out. Build it here in front of me so that I can warm up my hands and get a little light. My hands are shaking too much for me to be able to build one myself. I'm beginning to get a little suspicious. I mean, I know that sounds terrible, but I'm just like, concerned? I feel like we're missing something, you know what I mean? Let's see. Oh, and I need... Oh, so I need to gather up a bunch of snow and make a little snowball pile. Is that what I'm doing? Interesting. How much snow can I gather at once? Oh, a whole bunch. Look at that. Do I only get one snowball at a time, though? I think you only get one snowball at a time, no matter how many... Wait, no, look at that. Oh, it's just so hard to see. Because <laughs> it's white on white. I gotcha. All right. Well, let's gather a few more snowballs. One. Two. How many will we need? I really, you know, I'm beginning to feel this urge. Maybe it's part of the, the desire to one day become a ranger that's also within me. But I'm beginning to feel this urge to take, like, some survival classes. Maybe some basic orienteering classes. Have you guys ever taken those? My dad, a long time ago, really wanted to get all of us into, like, some of the basics of how to survive in the wild. But considering the fact we never even went camping, I think we managed okay. Hmm. How lovely. That will certainly keep this candle from blowing out. Now it just needs to be lit. Hmm. Here, take my lighter and light the candle in that little snow lantern so I can get a little warmth and stop shaking. I still feel a little suspicious about this, but Nick, I, I can't blame you. I have a feeling this is just gonna melt. Mm. Thanks, Saga. I can already feel the warmth spreading through my body, and it's getting a little clearer in my head. The worst of the shakes seem to be over now. Mm. It's no good. I think we need to think bigger than just a little snow lantern. A proper campfire is what we need. Can you run out and gather some firewood from the forest? While you're doing that, I'll build a fireplace. Like a stone circle, so the fire doesn't blow away in the wind. Alright, so he's gonna work on that, and I can work on firewood. That shouldn't be a problem. And I feel great being able to help rescue somebody. Okay, and I think day gaze would definitely help make this a lot faster. So let's go get on day gaze. And then we'll gather up a few more branches. I mean, there's plenty to pick from here. I still kind of want to know about, you know, the whole... <laughs> the whole magic fridge. But I'm sure Nick will tell us in good time. Now's not really the time to exchange any more stories, after all. He is sort of freezing to death. All right, let's see. Anything over here? Diggies, I feel like we should be stumbling on more of those ice and thistles. I wonder if an ice... Well, you know, I guess an ice and thistle wouldn't really help if you have hypothermia. Because I guess you would want something warm to counteract it. But still. Look at all of those frozen... Whoa. Those sharp tree trunks in the distance. And the ripples of the water and the ice down there, that's just amazing. All right, let's come back over. All right, Nick, I think we're just about ready to set you up. Mm. Great firewood. Uh, great firewood. Frozen, but we'll probably be able to set fire to it. See what a lovely campfire prepared for us? Murr. All right, hang in there, Nick. All right, yes, I will light the campfire for you. 
All right, so we're gonna come over. We should be able to light this, I hope. All right, hang in there. Okay, gotta use the lighter. Oh, we have to dismount. Sorry, day gaze. All right, and and just climbing in the fire. Well, I'm a little chilled, as as luck would have it. <laughs> Apparently, so is day gaze. What a lovely campfire. Now we're really starting to warm up. Nothing as cozy and delightful as the flickering light of a campfire. Here now, there's something just as important as sleep, and that's food. I'm super hungry and wouldn't mind a little help with building a stand over the campfire so that it can use this magic cauldron? Is that what it is? And let the fire warm up the food from underneath. Can you have a look for three long sturdy sticks and set them together to form a stand over the campfire? All right, and then it's an adventure cauldron. Okay, I think we're finally getting to the gist of what the heck that thing is. And I really want to know. All right, come on, day guys. I, I kind of don't want to leave you near the adventure cauldron, just in case it's nefarious. All right, let's grab these. One. And then this one right here. Two. And then we'll grab this one over here. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm so happy that we're in the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. And then we'll wiggle over here. Okay, slow down for just a second. Nice. And one, two, hang on, Degas. And three. Oh, the cauldron. Okay, whoops. There. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't actually what I was thinking. I'm still quite curious about what the heck is up with this fridge. All right, do you have an explanation, Nick? Now I can cook here, too. Thanks so much for helping. After heat, food, and sleep, I suppose the most important thing is to be able to sit and relax properly. Maybe you could help me build a couple of proper benches here by the campfire? Here, look! A few planks like that would be a great job. Grab them and set them on top of the bits of wood already surrounding the fire, and then we'll have a really lovely pair of benches. I have had a plan in my head for ages how to get these benches sorted, but I just haven't gotten far without with actually building them. Luckily, you're here to help me. Uh, he seems like he's feeling much better if he has already come up with the idea to come on over, and now we're going to have comfortable seats, of all things. So I think this is going quite well, guys. I think that Nick is recovering. He has his floating fridge that hopefully, I hope, he will tell us about. And we have a base camp, and that's really what's important for being able to have a reliable place to get all of the food, the nutrients, the warmth, which is very important here, and the sleep that we'll need to be able to continue exploring the valley. So let's wiggle this way. Okay. Nick? Bench is done. Lovely. Now we can sit soft on the benches and stare thoughtfully into the campfire. Cozy. Well, you know, I guess actually, considering who he is, he would need to go ahead and make his home in any new place now that I think of it. But all right, guys, now that we have got everything all set up with Nick and we have made ourselves quite comfy, hopefully we will be able to have a great base of operations for all of our future adventures. And for now, we should probably get just a little bit of rest. So if you guys could, please leave a like to give Daygaze a pat so that he knows he's done a great job helping us today. And if you haven't yet joined us, please consider subscribing to join this and literally thousands more adventures, including the one we are going to have here with Nick next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.